Okay, so basically I wanted to pull up the camera and talk about my experiment with film. So at first I was kind of just posting random content just to post because I was like, I don't really know what yet. I just wanted a feed that looked really, really good. And so I started off doing that and then kind of post the same content like on Twitter, on Pinterest and then when I started when I wrapped up my first blog I was like oh it stemmed from this photo that I found and then I was like oh let me post this on Instagram and on Twitter and so I did that and then it kind of clicked where I was like oh I kind of want more intentional posting where it's still images that inspire me but I want to take a step further and kind of add quotes on it so that's like my next step is really just posting and kind of connecting to the audience somehow with relevant captions this is what I mean when I say like I'm really not a social media person like I'm just doing all this and I'm like what am I even doing but this is the cool part so I'm a data girl because that's just how I operate <laughs> and I'm learning social media metrics for the first time, so I quite don't understand all of these yet, but I think just the fact that I went from like having absolutely no metrics to just having something in the thousands, to me that's like worth commemorating, so that's what I'm doing. Okay, this is my fit. I really like my fit today, so I wanted to show y'all. Headband from Brandy. I got this thrifted, but it's like a Michael Kors that I honestly cut up myself. Or I had my mom cut it and shortened it so that it wasn't like a full t-shirt, but super cute. I'm wearing a set sports bra underneath this, and then I'm wearing a nylon skirt. And then, oh, <laughs> I'm like, can I back up without hitting this? And then AF1s, and then the best part is the Ralph Lauren socks to me. So. I have a face mask on, so my talking is kind of stiff, but I felt like I just had to turn the camera on and talk because in a way, I didn't know who to talk to, so I was like, let me talk to myself and put it out there. As you saw from the clips before, I was in Tahoe, and it was such a lovely trip to be just away from everything and to just be present. 
and it's like the moment i resume my real life it just like my thoughts are just like all over the place and i got back to my real life yesterday and i had a lot of delays so i feel like my thoughts are skewed because of how exhausted i am physically mentally i think i just wanted to document this for myself more than anything to see that like this is a part of life i feel like when i go through these moments it defines my life even though i know it's not when i'm just in it it's just so hard to see beyond it i'm just worried at times because when i'm going through it it just feels like will i actually ever get better and i was thinking about reaching out to a friend or my mom and i don't know why my brain is so mean but it like convinces me that I'm like this burden and it just makes me feel like I'm always going through these low waves or honestly now that I'm saying it out loud I just constantly measure myself based on the low parts of my life rather than the highs which is something I just have to work on but sometimes I just don't want to have my friends or my family like worry about me I mean I don't even know like life is just so hard for everyone like I just don't want to be another thing for someone else but it's just so fucking hard like life is hard I guess like I'm just not mentally as strong as others and I'm having a really hard time and sometimes I just wonder, like, what am I even having a hard time about? Like, I have a great life, but yet I just, like, feel this way. <sighs> and I've been asking myself, like, what would even make me feel better? And I can't even find a solution. I've already cried it up today. I took the day off of work and I rested and it just is like my brain is just so mean sometimes and it's like <sighs> anyways putting that out there because I just needed to put it out there it will be okay I will be okay open fifth string mm -hmm. So that figure always happens twice. It's then it's the third fret of that same string. Then on the third fret of the sixth string, that whole thing happens twice. Mm. Before I get into what I wanted to say, I do want to show my outfit because I love this color. But I'm wearing this set uh, dip bra in saddle and we just dropped this line so go and get show set and then I'm wearing our whoa back up our lined biker shorts so these are new too but the last time I really kind of sat down was when I was breaking down crying and I honestly go through those moments kind of often and I don't know what it is like my brain is really mean sometimes and the noise is just really noisy sometimes it gets muddy and all i can do is love myself through it accept myself and be patient and hope that it just passes by and all i can do is take my healthy coping mechanisms that i have from going to the gym journaling walking spending time outside talking to a loved one and even through all of those, sometimes all I can do is waver through it with time. One thing I really want to work on is accepting and being okay with being lost and confused. I just like having control, but the thing is like in life you can't really control as much as you think you can. And so that's something I definitely want to work on. I kind of don't really know where to start or what to do with it just because like, I don't know. but. I feel like on my camping trip, reflecting on it, what I can 
remember most was just how much laughter there was as in how much nonchalant fun I had and it just reminded me that I don't need to take life so seriously and even though I can do the things that I'm doing and pursue the things that I'm doing like it's okay to fail and fuck up and make mistakes and kind of laugh it off and I feel like I measure myself by like perfection so like every time I mess up instead of like laughing about it I'll be really hard on myself inside my head such a hard time moving my fingers from the different chords and I understand that it just requires a lot of practice but I'm getting impatient and my hair looks so bad so ugly Oh my gosh! <laughs> Smile! Look! It's a video anyways. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>